Hi everyone, Jeremy from Automation Theory here, and today we're going to look at getting connected to the Automate database for both on-premise and cloud-hosted partners. So first, let's look at getting connected if you're on-premise. This can be done with any MySQL console of your choice. You can go to the command line, a variety of GUI tools. The choice is really up to you. Here at Automation Theory, we recommend using MySQL Workbench. This is a competing product to SQL Yog, which lots of people in the Automate community are using. And there are two main benefits to it. First, there's a lot more administrative detail about what your MySQL instance is doing. This can come in handy for a number of reasons. The other big benefit to it is that most of the features that require a premium license for SQL Yog are included in the community version of SQL Workbench. So you can go right to the MySQL website and go ahead and download this. And any version of SQL Workbench will go ahead and work with MySQL 5.7, 5.6, and even MariaDB if you still have that in your Automate environment. So, assuming you have that downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it up. On the initial screen here, if you haven't installed on your database server for Automate, you'll see this message that MySQL Workbench couldn't detect a MySQL server. That's just fine. Go ahead and hit the Add Connection button. And first things first, name is a required field here. After that, we can go ahead and put in the IP address of our server. And now it comes time for credentials. Any account that's super admin inside of the application has full privileges to the database. In our instance, we'll stick with root, we'll test that connection. We are connected and we'll hit OK. At this point, we can click on the tile to get connected to our server. There's one remaining step that's important before we start executing queries here and that would be setting the default database. As you can see here, this instance has numbered databases, and whenever you run a query referencing a table, you need to go ahead and somehow tell the server what database that table is in. To do that in SQL Workbench, go ahead and double click on Lab Deck. and it, it's bolded, which indicates that it is now the default database. And we can go ahead and run a SQL query, and we can see it pulls back your data. And that's connecting to your server in a nutshell for the on-premise partners. Switching gears here, let's go ahead and look at the hosted servers. Out of the box, ConnectWise doesn't give you access to your server or to your database. And as an Automate partner, there's an awful lot of functionality that you miss out on if you don't have good access to your database. Here at Automation Theory, we've created a plugin to go ahead and let partners access their MySQL database. There's a separate video for going ahead and downloading and installing that plugin. And assuming that you have the plugin set up, you can go ahead and go to Tools and click on Database Commander. You'll see that when the plugin opens, we are greeted with the Information tab. And in this tab, we'll see some demographics about the database version, some of the activity, what the application is doing, and some performance data. There are some inherent issues with how Automate treats MySQL performance. And if the plugin detects that going on on your server, you'll see that notification across the bottom. You can click that, and that will bring you to a blog post of ours explaining all the details of it 
and the different offerings we have here at Automation Theory to help partners with that. From here, we can go ahead and click on the SQL Execution tab and we're greeted with a query editor. And from here, we don't need to configure any default databases or anything like that. We can go ahead and enter a query. Control enter here is a hot key to run the query and it will go ahead and run. It's worth noting with Database Commander that there are certain limitations that you don't have if you're an on-premise partner. There are restrictions in the types of SQL queries that can be run through the SDK that ConnectOS provides. And so as a result, uh, certain statements just aren't going to work. For the day in and day out of administrating an automate stack, that's probably not going to be a concern for most partners, but it is worth noting. The other thing worth noting is that if you try to run a query that performs a potentially destructive write operation on the database, we try a delete query, you'll notice that it returns the explain output of the statement. That's a safety mechanism here in Database Commander. You can absolutely run SQL statements that perform write operations, but there's a double safety mechanism that you need to disable first. Step one is to go ahead and insert the word write into the query editor here. Go ahead and click execute statement. Once that's done, you'll see that there's a checkbox. As soon as the checkbox is checked, you'll be able to run any legal SQL statement that any plugin can use. Please use that function with care. You can definitely go ahead and issue commands to the database that would be difficult to recover from if used incorrectly. With that, that is everything you'll need to know to access the Automate database. We appreciate you watching this video, and if you like content like this, please like and subscribe.